his main connection was to the objective. You guys just just. Uh, yeah, it's true. He wouldn't really be doing anything with us. Yeah. The way we be doing. Totally right now. could be, but you know, it is showing up. So. It is uh, what it is. Yeah, but you don't know about the fucking crazy ass political shit that's going on. Yeah. In the capital right now. Yeah, I, he'd know what was going on. Fucking everyone. Yeah, but he there, wouldn't but, have like a whole. He, lot he of wouldn't stake be like you know. It. He wouldn't have a. He wouldn't have a dog in the fight. I don't really know anything about. His, I haven't read his thing yet. I will though. Yeah, I read through his thing. He doesn't really have a like a strong point and <sighs> everything that's going on. <sighs> All right, I'm gonna be a little bit late in the action tonight. Tonight, boys, I'm a little bit too tired. So. No, you're Fine. good. Wait one second. Oh. No, but is, yeah, that, uh, is that spicy tuna bomb, huh? This, oh, that spicy tuna bomb. That shit was so good. I was just sitting there. I was like, yo, who came up with this? Just made a giant spicy tuna roll fucking deep fried in tempura. Fucking beautiful. I almost want to get one to take it to work tomorrow. Bro, I'll tell you one thing. You will hear me bitch for about 10 minutes tomorrow when I get home from work if I if I forget my lunch tomorrow. You're like, I forgot my fucking lunch. All that goddamn <laughs> miso soup is done for. Sorry. Okay. So let's just hope I don't forget it. Let's hope. <laughs> um. Okay. So um. So yeah. Uh, you know. Soft tail when you. Uh, when you're um. You know. Oh, brought back. We're just, you're... we're just picking up. Yeah, we're just picking it up. What I understand you're... the capabilities of being able to be brought back from the dead. Um. I'm willing to wager. You want me to like roll like uh, do, a religion do, do, check? Do, do, do you have, do you have knowledge of religion? Oh fuck! I don't have a point in it. I have All one right. in Arcana. Yeah, you... I have one in Arcana. Yeah. Then yeah. No. You 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 would just be um, you'd be kind of uh, kind of like oh shit what like. How the fuck did that happen? Okay, so I have no idea that I could be blocked back from the dead. Yeah, and it, and, I, and I will note that like your freaking um, what you call it um, <clears throat> like the the physical damage that like. Like that, like you sustained in in the fight, like the scars and whatnot are like still visible on you. Mm -hmm. They're um, it's just that you know, uh, they're they're healed, but you, you've got like sort of like a, like the the Witcher body going. Like there there'd be um there'd be like specific parts of your fur where where like your body slash and like uh, fur no longer grows there. Mm -hmm. I um. Uh, all right, so like I wake up, I kind of look around, um, I'm like very confused, uh, and it, it take me. I take it take me a moment to realize what the fuck's going on. I just look around and be like, "What happened?" Yeah, and the uh, the high priest would would um would say um it's a simple spell but quite unbreakable. Welcome back to the land of the living. So, I uh, I'm like I'm like living. I like look down. I, I kind of like I'm on like my hands and knees and I'm like looking at the ground. I'm just like I I like and and the loud frustrating. Uh, very loud and frustrated. I fucking I punch the ground as hard as I can. Can I attempt to crack the ground? That's how hard to hit it. Uh, yeah, go for it. <laughs> Oof. Mm, not hard. All enough. right, so yeah, the, the, it's not too hard. You, you, uh, the, the, the floor is like freaking um, is made out of like um, just this uh, really like fine wood. And you literally just, just, you just fucking like sort of like so the wood splinters, and then immediately um, the, the chance is like, hey. This is expensive wood. Stop. Do not damage the church. I don't. And then forget. Oh. And then forget him. He he would just sort of like just just some um, clear his throat and go. Um, I know you must. What you, what you must be experiencing is unusual. Can I you try uh, to keep your temperament. I just. And then she she looked to. He would immediately look to Calvier and, and just and just be like, <clears throat> I trust you to deal with this. I'm I, I'm going back to sleep. Mm -hmm. he's, uh, so, he's literally he's, he's going to just head start heading start heading out. So uh, so as everyone like he goes ahead out, I assume like everybody like quickly glances uh, towards him as he walks out, and like as everyone glances back towards me, they w there wouldn't be any uh, audible noise, but like you'd see tears like dropping to the ground. Um, from like obviously like I'm fucking I'm crying, mm -hmm. I'm not even saying anything. Just like tears are just running down my face and they're just dripping to the ground. And then um, uh, that Vesna would be here and she, she she would look at you and just and just sort of go, um, "It's all right, little cat. We won and you're alive." I like I kind of like throw her, I throw her off of me, um, and I kind of like rush to the door, 
Um, I just stop at the door very quick, uh, and just briefly, and I just sit there, like, I hesitate at the door. I, I turn around to say something, uh, and just before I say it, uh, I, like, I open my mouth to say it, and then I just close my, I close my mouth, and I'm like, <laughs> I, like, grunt, I'm like, <sighs> and I just, and I just walk out. Alright, fucking, uh, pe people are, me obviously, like, uh, they're very concerned, freaking, uh. <laughs> <laughs> I don't. I don't know about about uh, these two, but Calvira and Veshner are definitely like on your ass, like fucking, like no, yo, like you should probably like relax, like you know, don't you know, you just <laughs> probably should be running uh, around right now. You got six HP. As he runs so, out the door, I, I'm gonna yell out, "I'm not bringing you back again." I, I'm. I mean, you can. That's fine. I'm. Yeah. I'm like. I'm. Walk, I'm assuming Veshner and Calvira like catch up to me. Yeah, yeah, but then, like, and, like, depending on how fast you're going, like, if you really, really wanted to, you could just fucking, if you're, well, like, no, to like, to not be caught. Yeah, I don't, like, yeah, as soon as I, like, left the door, like, I would, I'd rush to the door and I'd just, like, I'd book it. Like, even, like, as far as, like, literally, like, leaving and, like, knowing they're gonna chase me and, like, just trying to hide. Okay, so you're just, like, fucking skedaddling into the yeah, city, like, I just, I, town. Yeah, I don't want to be talked to you right oh, now. Oh, alright, well, yeah, that is, a. Uh, so, you just take off, they go outside, and just, they just look out into the night, and they... See, you're nowhere to soft tail is nowhere to be found. <clears throat> um, Kavira and Veshna would would um just sort of turn back to to uh to you two and just go um. Well, <clears throat> and uh, Veshna would just go um. Well, what what now then? And Kavira would just go um. I take it he's going to deal with this on his own. Um. Suppose we've all earned the night's rest. Wait, we're gonna go to bed now? Uh. Oh, I thought you left. Uh, freaking one sec. Oh. Yeah, I was here the whole time. I'm, I'm, I'm kind of awake now. Okay, yeah, no, yeah, okay, yeah, but yeah. <clears throat> so, um, so. <laughs> so one second. We can't guys. go to bed with Alex carrying a dead body behind him, you know? That's, that's true. I'm still down in the in the dungeon. I'm coming back up with Veritas' dead, dead body. Mm hmm. They plan on tossing in front of Ember Fist and being like, so we've got some things to talk about. Can we have a meeting, like emergency council that's, meeting? That's what I was going to talk to Calvira about. I was like, we call an emergency <laughs> council meeting tomorrow, but I would have to. She would, yeah, yeah. So, so she's going to, um, she's, she's going to suggest, you know, you guys get, 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 get back to the estate first. Um, when you, when you guys left, uh, at this whole ordeal with, uh, you know, it obviously been like the whole ordeal with like, Hey, we got a fucking, uh, Softail's dead, you know. We we got the loot. We gotta fucking you know see see what we can do. See if we can get some get some help with the church. Fucking um, and then uh, you know that that have been another thing you guys are doing. Frederick and um, <clears throat> Frederick and Tatiana would have uh went off on their own for the night. Uh, uh, sort of did different different aura about them than usual. And um, which one called uh, um, Ronan would have just sort of uh. He'd have, he'd have just sort of fucking uh, been... He, he, he'd have went and done, done his own thing. We'll, we'll establish whatever that is later. Um, mm -hmm. So, yeah. So, so you guys... um, You guys would head back to, uh, to, to the estate at this point. And, uh, you know... Ver Veritas' body in tow. Charred... Charred... Uh, black... Charred cracked black mask upon his face. Mm -hmm. Wait a minute. Oh, yeah. Wait a minute. He's got a fucking hole in his chest, too. I forgot. Um... Mm -hmm. So yeah, so, so you so you guys sit back to the estate, and, you, and um, you guys aren't meeting in the kitchen like usual because that would be kind of a uh, you know cr crude. So so, oh. you, so you guys are in the in the room to the to the just outside of that. Okay. Um, so when we're in there, <clears throat> I well, I guess first since I wasn't there with you guys when you revived Softail, um, I would sort of address uh, Calvira. NG and um and Brutus and Veshna with just the whole group and I'll be like, so what happened with with Khajiit? Uh is he with us? She would she would go, um we still <clears throat> his death was relatively recent and we still had his body intact, so Yes, he's yes, with us. Pussy but... cat's still alive, yes. She would, she, she would, she would, she would just sort of look to you and just not even have the energy to scold anyone now at the, after the, at this point. And then she, she would go, um, she would go, um, he's with us physically at least. Um, I, I sigh, I sigh like a sigh of relief. Um, 
And just know, knowing how Softail kind of runs, I'd say, I'll say, well, I take it coming back to life after a loss probably isn't running him, rubbing him the right way. Uh, it's probably best that we give him that time. Right. Twice the pride, double the fall. <laughs> no, <I'm> kidding. <laughs> no, dude, I was thinking the same thing. I was like, I was like, I hope he uses it. <laughs> <laughs> no, but yeah, um, that, <laughs> um, but yeah, so um, yeah, um, yeah, so sort of, yeah, so then I, I look at I look at um Calvira and I say, uh, I know everything is sudden, but uh, I feel it's probably appropriate that tomorrow you call for a council meeting. I feel there are some things that certainly need to be addressed now that we've handled the incident with the quiver and addressed with the other council members um ember fists li uh, allegiances you never miss a beat do you well go on then what's your plan i'll bump out the chinks in the armor <clears throat> um i say well considering the fact that we've come up and we haven't seen any um in an enforced curfew or any armed guards means that Malcolm has at least kept his word and staged his own private investigation without causing too much trouble. Um, hopefully by that point, by this point, he's found enough to satisfy his, any of his own personal questions and believes the information we gave him. Uh, I think between himself, you, and Tiziana, all knowing the circumstances of these events, we have... Uh, we have our position to be able to confront Emberfist about this. Our goal from the beginning was finding out who could potentially be the traitor in our midst, and now we've both handled the quiver and have identified our man. All that's left is trying to wrap this up so we can deal with finally a day of peace. She sighs and she says... I suppose it was ignorant of me to assume we could return to normalcy for even a moment. Do you truly think that this directed approach is ideal? Mm. Knowing what we're dealing with, knowing what happened to your friend. I say, well, what happened to Haywood was him going out on a hunch, handling something on his own. Um, if we confront Emberfist and... <clears throat> in the council room, surrounded by the by the members of the council, form of, I guess, the closest we can get to due process. Uh, I don't think he can as easily sick wyverns on us or anything like that. And I think that if the quicker we get this resolved, no matter what resolved means, uh, the quicker we can get back to days of rest and peace. <clears throat> She's going to, um, she's going to say, um, don't underestimate the Chancellor. He's, he's a burly man, but he's, he's a, he's a long time politician. I'm sh and if your friend leaked any information, I'm sure this is an outcome he'd, he'd have prepared for. Um... Walking in there and doing that in this way could easily turn sour. Well, so I, I nod, then I say, <clears throat> so that's true, but don't really see any other way to handle it. Um, while I do agree with your course of action, we did reveal this information to who I would consider to be the most hot-headed of the council. I would imagine that even if we tried to take things slow, I don't see um, Occam waiting too long after we've returned before trying to address it either himself or with us. And one way or another, we're going to have to be pushed to trying to handle the situation with the Chancellor. Might I offer a potential alternate route? Please. <clears throat> when you lot when we when we had the briefing and you you and your group suggested that or pushed the idea that you were here for my vote and <laughs> all that I well I was flustered but I sat and I thought on it the only moves the chancellor 
has made was, well, mainly involving the bandits outside of outside of the city. His every his every attempt to his every attempt to destroy the morale of the people of the city has failed. And correct me if I'm wrong, but and then she looks at Sebastian. She she goes, "We've at least two of these bandit leaders accounted for." I say, <clears throat> well, depending on how set you are on revenge, I could just, well, make my decision. Hmm. Um, yeah, 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 well, yeah. I, 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 I'm definitely mulling it over. When she brought up the whole yeah. situation about the vote, I definitely, I have a, a little, a little pang of, uh, of. Nah, regret, yeah. maybe sadness. She, yeah, yeah, you can tell that I, that yeah. I. And then, and then she, yeah. she sees that she sees that sort of overcome you, and, and then she goes, she's going, just a suggestion, but if we wish to avoid any more bloodshed, I, it would take some talking down from Occam. But if I could get him to comply, then we can just proceed with the vote. The Chancellor hasn't done anything overt to expose himself. And, well, then we'd be waiting, waiting for him to make a move with what relatively few tools he has. Ideally, the vote goes through as planned. Perhaps Zajaros rejoins the Empire. Ashtera gain, gains itself more land, and the Council is disbanded altogether. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I, I, I nod. Obviously, I this means that the Chancellor would get likely get, a, get off. No. Inyasha. Oh. Uh, oh. If, I, I, I turn to Brutus. Yeah. If the council votes to rejoin Ashtera, we could always have Occam have our back. And we can expose the man who he is and get our payback for what he did. We we'll do it afterwards. I kind of, do it afterwards. I kind of, I kind of sigh. I say, well, like Calvary said, uh, if that's how it plays out um emberfist won't really have much of a an official position other than just being a respected member of this of this city and this society um but not really a position of rule at that point he'll be arrested i would not comply and if he tries to run we'll find him you know that. well i also point run? out the fact that if that's the case then then occam <coughs> may very well lose part of his power as well. Uh, and I go on to say, if... I... It, admittedly, I'm not as close to Haywood as both you and Angie were. Um, well, he was an ally of mine. I, too, am a bit exhausted by bloodshed and revenge, but I couldn't in good faith look at you and tell you not to pursue that. Um, if we're in agreement with, at least Cal with Calvira's suggestion now, then what you wish to do with Emberfist afterwards, I, I will not object to. Well, Inuyasha, I'm, I must have your word that you will back us up. If that's, I say, I, I look at you dead in the eye and I say, you are my companions. If you go into battle, I'm going to be there. So that's, that is inarguable uh whether or not i fully have whether or not i have the same feelings of resentment and revenge that you do that's besides the point that's what you pursue when you need me on the battlefields you know i'll be there good to know um I don't, and then i, I, don't I think oh, go ahead you i don't think you are uh, i don't require you to help us because I don't think there's any need for companions when you go into the Vengeance Run. Oh. Oh. I mean, I, I mean, I look, I look at Engi and I kind of just, I, I kind of just nod and I say, well, I suppose, I suppose that's true. I said, we've been through a few encounters together, but the last time I had really spoken to Haywood, we did not. The last few times we've spoken to Haywood did not end on very good notes. I deeply remiss his death, but I just 
don't feel that... Hmm. The point is, I don't think that I what do, you mean you do don't not feel? share. What was all that don't... anger a night ago? Well, the the fact that I had to come back to the death of one companion, to the death of another, to our final battle, and now here. To be honest, I'm. I guess I've grown a little bit tired of death. Uh, as I said, I wholeheartedly understand your convictions. I respect them, and I can't say that I do not feel anger for the fact that Haywood has died. You saw my reaction when you broke the news to me. Um, the fact of the matter is, I don't know if I fully agree with, want to pick further fights of bloodshed. That wasn't my intention of addressing things with Ember Fist in the first place. Like you had said, Brutus, my plan was the closest thing to due process as we could get, not a, a headhunt in the name of revenge. A headhunt would only be required if he attempts to run away after he's accused and, he, and, and found guilty. Um, well, yeah, at hearing that, Kavir's going to look to Brutus and she's going to speak up. She's, she's going to say, um, it is likely in order to resolve this peacefully. In, in order in order for us to just to go through with the vote normally Vividum would have to be acting chancellor when the vote is processed I understand and that once, a lot of vote. And, Fine. and once and once the region rejoins the empire there won't be anyone to persecute him Um, you guys can persecute him personally with your guns. And, well, that's yeah, what yeah just, she, she's gonna say that. She, she's gonna say that. She's gonna say him. Um, he, he'll be, he'll likely be effectively absolved of any suspicion. The evidence we have now is already very, very little. Vague. Word of mouth. He's a, a tried and true politician. He knows how to how to navigate situations like that. You'd, you'd likely uh, find yourselves running in circles, and I will, I'll be honest, unless Vividum comes out right and, and makes violence um, a direct path, you'll, I'll not be standing with you should you choose to start something you can't finish. That's fine by me. You, uh, you know a little about me, I'll say this. But I've lost so much of my past. And the little I have left has been taken. It might not mean a lot, but it's something. And I Vesha looks, Vesha, wait, no, yeah, yeah. Vesha looks at you and she goes, I, res I respect your respect your right to die for that which you love. Thank you. Cal Calvira looks looks at you and she nods and she goes, "What you do, what you guys, what you do of your own accord is truly none of my concern. I was just letting you know. We've recently felled a rather formidable foe. With we spent lots of time gathering allies. We were prepared, and we got off a lot easier than we could have. Your." Vendetta, your vindictive pursuit of the Chancellor, you'll, you're unlikely to gather as many allies. And as a result, it is not entirely unlikely that... And then she, she, she just sort of looks to, looks to the seat that Softail would have been sitting in if he were here, and she goes, It's not unlikely that what happened to your friend could happen to one of you. Hmm. And that would break my heart. Who said that? Calvira. Calvira. Okay. Um, I'm a chime in. Um, don't be mistaken. I don't take losing battles. It may not be tomorrow, but I'll get my revenge. She won't She's be out of that. Um. Yeah. I mean, I'm. I'm gonna. I'm going to stay quiet. I already said my piece. So right. whatever. I, I At that point, unless anyone's going to say more about th that situation, 
Um, I look at Calvira again and I say, so if addressing things up front is not how it's going to play out, uh, is there any reason to preserve Veritas's body? <clears throat> she, she, she's going to look to you and she's going to say, um, I'll be honest, I figured you'd brought it up here more of a, as more of a trophy than anything else. It made me a little nervous. I was glad to see that it was a part of a grand scheme and not so much a uh, morbid showcase of your, well, obsession. But, <clears throat> strictly speaking, no. All right. So, I suppose all that's left is once we burn this man away, that will be the last remnant of of the quiver. Yes, good riddance. And then, right. and then she's gonna say, "Um, <clears throat> you've a lot of earned arrest. I'm going to, I for one, am going to wait outside for a couple more hours." And at, at, at this point, it would, it would, it would be like probably like it would probably be like midnight. Maybe, maybe like one. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> and and she would say. I'm gonna wait outside for some hours, and see if Softail has any intention of returning. It's a clear night tonight, either way. The rest of you are free to rest. You've earned it, and thank you very much. Um, is anyone right now going to do anything in particular? Yeah. I'm yeah, I'd imagine. Uh, I'm gonna what were you gonna? Up. What were you gonna do? I'm gonna stand up and say, "If you'll excuse me." I have something I need to take care of, and I'm going to stumble out and head straight to the fucking church because I'm about to die. What? You're about to die? <laughs> yeah. I'm, I'm at 4 HP, dude. What oh, you dude, mean? you're at 4 HP, but you're not, like, losing yeah. any HP. No, I know, but I'm just saying I'm hurting, bro. I'm going to go get you. Huh. What happens if he gets, oh, happens no, if he gets no, jumped? No, 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 no. Uh, 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 you, 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 if you, you literally would have needed to just get some ordinary healing. Uh, one, you, you guys could take some charges off the wand you have, or you could just straight pay for some healing. Uh, That's what I'm saying. We, I, I assume you would do that. Uh, sure. Well, well, hold on. Oh no, yeah, well, but I'm saying you, so, you could have done that like earlier. Like ordinary scribes would have been able to do that without the chance, without the, um, the high priest help. So you, you oh, could have got that earlier. Yeah. So go wait, wait, wait. When, Andrew, when Andrew's getting so out, so you guys would just have out. gotten healed when you guys bought to bring me back. No, no, I'm, no, I'm, I'm just saying that like if that's the only reason. Then yeah, but if not, no, and you actually not, want to go for another it. reason, then go for it. No, that's uh, not it. I if, wanted if to not, not. If not, I'd be going to the end. I want okay, to talk right, to cool. Angie, so oh, I can tie this in. So if I see you getting up, like wobbling out, like I would just say, uh, <clears throat> Angie, it seems like you could use a bit of healing. There, a few charges this wand left, and uh, wanted to speak to you about something. Would you mind sticking around for a little bit longer? Sure thing. All right, so. Uh, I don't know if anybody, Calvira is going outside. Uh, yeah, Beth, Calvira is just sort of going to be waiting on the, waiting on the, uh, the steps of the estate. I was gonna I was gonna walk towards a room, uh, just like one of the random rooms to walk into, with Ng because I was gonna speak with him. I don't know if Brutus was gonna come with or not. I'm not opposed to someone joining, so I'm not making it like a whole thing. But um, I'm like I follow like I'm like at the door like I can hear what you guys are saying, but I'm not in the. Okay. All right, so uh, so I'll I'll heal you, but then um, I kind of sit. So I sit down and as I start, uh, I break out the wand and start healing you. I kind of look at you and I say, I say so. A difference between a comrade and a friend, huh? Mm -hmm. Uh, pretty much just I'm like so. What was that about? I mean, there's all this speak of comrades. It seems everyone here is scared to call someone a friend. I, I kind of chuckle and I say, well, considering the fact that many of our interactions have been one, to carry out a job, or two, to fuck each other over, it's sometimes hard-pressed to call ourselves a, very, a merry band of friends. That's one charge. Okay. Uh, and I was editing a character sheet. I thought I accidentally rolled something. I was like, no! <laughs> I got that spoiled. Up. <laughs> All right, y'all are good. What the fuck? What are you rolling? He's rolling his, his wand to heal him. Oh, okay. 
Wait, whoa, whoa. Oh, the cure light wounds. Okay, all right, all right. Yeah. I thought it was the... Okay. Um, so, I kind of, I, I look at, as I'm, as I'm healing him, I just say, I just say, you know, if I was, if everything that happened today hadn't happened, uh, when you had said that, I might have snapped out. I might have accused you of taking things too personally, getting a bit too invested in things that were outside of, uh, outside of the main mission. Um, but like I said, I get it. It's tough. You spent much longer with him than I had, and I understand your need for revenge. I said, but do you think headhunting the former chancellor, uh, especially as emissaries of the man of Adam, the man who's who, if this vote goes as planned, is going to be the ruler of this whole place, and mysteriously the former chancellor turns up murdered with no evidence or reasoning, aside from the word of mouth of a couple adventurers, or adventurers at best, mercenaries at worst. Do you think it's really going to go over well? I, th I think you're mistaken. I, If I tried to fight the chancellor right now, I wouldn't stand a chance. None of us would. Mm. But there will be a day where I'll get my revenge. Okay. I'm down to clown with that. All right, I, I just nod. And you I just... talk about getting too attached to me. I don't know. Was he around for the Hydra? Alex? <laughs> no. Um. Yes. Oh, he was. Yeah. Oh, he was. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. He, he, he was. He, he was there when you guys fought. I um, couldn't remember the hard. You guys before fought, uh, the Tengus. fought Talia Gresh. He, he got. Yeah, he got I, feared. I it was. Yeah, he got yeah, feared. Yeah. He was feared for the whole fight. Yes, <laughs> I remember that. Oh, I yeah. remember that. And and you talk about <laughs> the main mission, but my uh, my sight, my uh, I've had my sight set on a much bigger mission, the evil wizard. That we let out of the ice. This is just. You know that his name is Velzarius. Yeah, I know. Yeah. Velzarius the cunt. This is just a means to an end at this point. I just need to become stronger to fix my fuck up. Hmm. Uh. Yeah, I laugh and I I say, well, I I understand that sentiment. Um. I guess the only reason I really want to talk to you about this is so that we didn't do, well, I suppose I shouldn't say we, so that neither of you did anything too brash to the point of undoing any of the progress or effort that any of us in this party have made, and any of the progress that Haywood had given up his life to try and earn. Just ask that to take that into account if you make any future decisions that involve violence on the members of the council. <clears throat> There's a reason why we didn't just go with your with your group's first sentiment of why didn't you just kill Occam? That was my sentiment. Oh no mind. Yeah, well, that's I'm exactly lying, what I'm all three lying. of them said. Was yeah, yeah, yeah I forgot, I forgot. That's right. I, I said, I I said should, it's not as easy as... Yeah, I said, the world doesn't work. In cutting heads and winning levels. It's not exactly how things play out. I remember maybe, the... Maybe to you. Wait, I kind of like nod <laughs> my head and then... And I say... I remember this. History is written by the victor. <laughs> so whatever uh, you do today doesn't matter. All that matters is that you live or you die. Don't forget that. Um I kind of uh I I chuckle at that line and I'd say, well for all intents and purposes, we are the victors right now. We accomplished the goal. The vote is secured. Uh, Haywood has not died in vain. 
in all intents and purposes, we've we ought we have won. So if we continue writing our own history, is it going to be down in the history books that after our big win, we decided that let's go kick the shit out of all the people that pissed us off until eventually they decide to kick the shit out of us right back. They can try. Just, rem just remember I'll be that. waiting right for them to do so. Oh, hell yeah. Alright. Um, again, I just kind of laugh and I just say, alright, well, I look back at NG and I say, need any more charges? No, I'm good. Mm. Thanks, friend. Say, you give me a charge. Quite fond, quite fond of that word. Uh, yeah, Brutus. There you go. That's a one. That's a two. That's a three. All right, Wait, nice. You got hit, Brutus. I think it's scratch. <laughs> what the fuck? All right, well, okay. And at that, I say, I think I'm going to be waiting up with for Softail as well. Elvira um, puts a bit of a seems to be trying to put on a show with her emotions, but well, I say we all are trying to put on a show with our emotions because I think we're all a bit worried about where our furry friend has gone. You do what you want to, but I don't think that emotional cat's going to be back for a while. I say probably not, but at the very least, I can come up with a few ideas of where to look in the morning. I say... And I just kind of look at both of them, I just say, see you when I see you. One, one last thing. Mm -hmm. When are we going to go after the bandits? Um, I nod and I say, uh, once this vote is over, we can head out whenever you're up to it. I'm ready whenever. Okay, okay then... Hopefully, after the events of tomorrow, we'll be able to put those <sighs> put those bastards to rest. The fuck are you doing, Ralph? <laughs> yeah, making some diplomacy. He's, 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 he's talking to himself in the mirror right now. So. <laughs> <laughs> like, Damn, that's a good way to put that. Mirror, he's just, just flexing after that phenomenal <laughs> RP, and he's like, "Yeah, look at me." <laughs> Who's the he, man? He just won an ar he just he just Charles won an argument Pixie. he just won an argument in the shower. My climb was at five. I put the plus fucking five thing on it. It was at ten, and now I check back to my skills. And now it's at seven. I'm like, so what what's the diplomacy fuck? have to do with what's that? What's diplomacy? I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right. We'll fix that later. I don't think he'd be climbing any, anything anytime soon. <laughs> Wait. I know, but Leave that to the cat, man. Oh god. All right, well, that's all I had to say. Yeah. Uh, at I'm, that I'm point, go, I'm going to the end. Yeah, at that point, I um, I kind of just had a, I anyone had a anyone leaving there. the estate, like if you're leaving like through the front, you'd see that like like Calvira and Vesna would just sort of like slide over, fucking Wait, let you guys pass. As before, as I leave the room, I whisper to Niyasha. Yeah. Have fun calling with that dead body. <laughs> the fuck? Um. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Fucking uh, Bruce, go go hit up the Gore Tech real quick. Uh, <laughs> meet me at the end. Okay, weird, weird flex, but okay. Weird flex, but okay. That was because you have a fucking dead body that guy you dragged with you. So yeah, unless you put him in the table somewhere, you didn't say. I mean, I kind of just left him in the. I guess I just left him in the hall. I didn't bring him, drag him all the way up to the fucking bedroom. Well, just put him in the sheets, you bastard. Yeah, I'm not, Inuyasha, listen, Inuyasha I don't know what, I don't know what you do in your spare time, but I ain't bringing <laughs> corpses to the sheets. Inuyasha threw one wind scar, got confused, and carried around the dead body as a trophy. Well, you finally connect to that shit. I mean, yeah, you, you went, <laughs> you went down to four HP and got. <laughs> you know, I'm not saying I did any better, dude. <laughs> I fucking almost died instantly. <laughs> <laughs> All right, but I mean, yeah, if they're heading out, then I I follow behind them and I sit down on, uh, with the other stoop kids and wait for soft yeah. So, so 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 after you, so um, so you guys uh the three of you the stoop kids, you guys you guys are sort of you, you guys um just sort of sit sitting uh sitting on the stoop as the stoop kids do, mm -hmm. uh taking in the um the clear starry sky, and the um the nice uh, chilled night, and <clears throat> at one point. Um, just sort of an awkward silence is just like, a, like, it's literally like Calvira, Veshna, then you on the other side, 
and mm -hmm. um, and as as, as the, the awkward silence sort of fills the air, freaking um, Kavir is just sort of like, oh, <clears throat> this is horrid. Wait a moment. <clears throat> and then she she um, she heads it she heads up the up the stairs and she um, uh she heads back into the estate and after after um a couple minutes, she comes back out with um she comes back out. <clears throat> In that couple minutes' time, if you want to say anything to Veshna one on one, you can. If you, if not, I'll I'll continue. Um, I uh, I look over at Veshna. Uh, I kind of like I jab her in the arm for a second, and I say, "One hell of a job at that at the raid." You're taking it like a champ. <laughs> she, sits there, she, she sits there, and then um, uh, she she um she crosses her arms and she goes. At another time, that could have been you. I, la I laugh. <laughs> and I say, huh. I say, yeah? Well, don't forget. We're still having our rematch before all this thing all is up. And I'll have you know, I got quite a bit stronger since the last time we fought. She looks at you and she goes, That'll be nothing but amicable sparring. Surely you don't intend to have a death match. I've, even I value your life. I'd say, I'd say, of course not. Of course not. What would the rest of the warriors do without their princess? I said, I said, but... No, nothing says that we can't go a little bit rough and tumble. We do have the Archmage behind us. If, and his, her trusty alchemist, in case we needed a few healings. <coughs> she's she's, she's going to say, um, I know not I know not of a healer that can atta reattach a head to a body. <laughs> Um, <clears throat> I laugh. I laugh and I say, huh, well, I didn't know, I didn't know a spell existed that could turn someone's tongue into silver, but there you are. <laughs> yeah, she, she fucking, uh, that folds her. Fuck it, she doesn't have anything for that. Fuck it. Uh, <laughs> she, she's, she only has so much, uh, back and forth gas in her. She, she, she just sort of, um, she, she looks like just really fl flustered at that. She just sort of crosses her arms and just like, just like looks up, looks up to the right. Okay. I kind of, um, I... So, and at last second, I chuckle and I just say, I'm "Glad you made it out alive." She would have like um like sort of as as you said as like as you like say that like she would have literally been like about to say the exact same thing, mm -hmm. and you and you guys literally did just sort of like have a jinx situation where like you both just sort of at the same time just go, "Glad you didn't die." Nice. And then uh, I mean, at that point, I would just kind of I would nod like a, a calm smile. We have a a sense of mutual agreement there. And then at that point, I think I would stop talking. All right, cool. <clears throat> so, um, Kavira comes out after, after a few minutes and she comes out, she's got, she's, she, she's got three, like really like nice looking, uh, glasses. And she's mm -hmm. got like a, like a tall bottle of, of, uh, of wine. And she just, and, and she looks at you, she goes, <clears throat> this is from Master Azrin's um, stash. I seldom drink, but I think this might be a good occasion. The the air is quite heavy tonight. <sighs> I I nod and I say, well, I would agree. If there's any night for a drink, <sighs> it's time after a battle. Vesha nods and freaking um, <clears throat> and Kavira pretty much is like, you just be chilling on the stoop, and she would just start, start pouring y'all up. And I'll just be sitting there, just sort of just sipping, sipping on the wine, and just uh, which which any, anyone anyone who's like a wine guy in the group would know that it is like, like quite rich. This this, this seems like some uh, some pretty good shit. Some and top um, shelf shit. Yeah, <laughs> and freaking um, and you guys are sort of chilling and uh, just taking it in the air. Right. Um. Uh, I guess at that, at that, I kind of look over at the at the two of them and I say, "So, after everything that's happened and with the events of the next few days, what uh, what do you plan to do with yourselves after this?" Kavir's uh. <clears throat> Kavir's just just sitting there, and she's like, "Um." 
What do I plan to do with myself? Well, if all things go right, I'll I'll be rid of the council. <clears throat> I could go. I could try and seek out my master. He explicitly told me not to do that, but I've at this point I've done lots of things. He's he's explicitly told me not to do, and she just sort of um. At first, you, you at first you'd think she's uh, talking about you know working with you guys, going mm -hmm. going in on dangerous adventures, but then she she just sort of like she just sort of swirls the wine in a glass, just sort of like uh <laughs> indicating that she shouldn't be drinking this. Um, <laughs> okay. Yeah. And then she um she's just like. I'm not entirely sure, but I do know that if I do know that if I'm successfully rid of these duties, that there is a large world out there that I plan on seeing for myself. Okay. Alone, if I must be. And then I have to say that she just sort of like takes some tickets. Mm -hmm. okay. And then, um, she goes, <clears throat> she goes, what about you? What will you do? Uh, hmm. Um, <clears throat> I kind of, uh, when she says that, I have one hand with uh, the glass, and the other hand I kind of put on uh, my necklace, and I say, well, like when I first came here, I hope to someday find someone who can... Bring me back to where I'd come from. Uh, planeswalker, like you called them. <sighs> Other than that, I I have this these merry band of morons and a new puppy to take care of. I suppose you could say, even if I'm not sure of the specifics, I'm a pretty busy life ahead of me. You think you're going to stay with your comrades, then? I sigh. I, sigh. I say, well, see, as much as we get in each other's throats, I don't think... Uh, I think it would be hard-pressed for any one of us to completely just up and leave the others. Uh, we are sort of a bunch of loners that kind of are all each other has, whether we like to admit that or not so regardless of where our adventures take i don't think it'll be too long before we're back on some other grand scheme or running away from some giant monster she's gonna she's gonna um sort of giggle at that <laughs> and she's gonna look to Vesha and go so warrior princess what will you do excuse my <laughs> Motherfucker stole my line. <laughs> and then and, and you notice that, that Veshna is just sort of like like um the um she uh she 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 doesn't seem to have like touched any of the wine in her glass and she's just sort of like staring at it. And she she's holding the glass in two hands. And um and and you, you notice that um the the the, water, the liquid in the glass is uh just vibrating, like 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 as if like her hands are shaking a bit and and she just, without really, without uh, averting her, without uh, diverting her gaze to anyone, she just says, "Um, I'm not really sure. I've, I've never really had much of a purpose. The closest thing I have ever had to one was leading my pack. They were a bunch of fools, and." quite inept when it comes to combat, but they were, they were my fools. They were my men. And they, they rallied around me, not because I demanded, but because they, we saw something of a mutual longing in one another, a mutual longing for a purpose. And I find myself without them. And I find myself without that purpose we had been seeking out together. I do not mourn them. We, well, we've, we would tell you we to discuss this nightly. We were degenerates, scum, cur, 
absolute well, trash in every sense of the word. I almost vomit speaking sentiment as memories of the things I've done to innocent people flashed across my mind. I'm deserving of no sympathy, but, well, I wish I had, I wish I deserved some place to go back to. Um, so it, and, um, Kavir is actually going to, Kavir is going to say something, hold, like, hold, hold that thought though, hold that thought. Okay, um, yeah, yeah, gotcha, gotcha. Kavir is just sort of going to, going to, going to pull up her cloak and just sort of just, um, <clears throat> she's she's gonna just uh sort of just like look look at her just show off her forearms and her claws and the black veins going down her arm bul bulging like out of her forearms almost as if like there were like long worms just sort of twisting beneath her skin <clears throat> and she looks to uh Vesna and she goes <clears throat> we've we never really discussed it but you too hail from the Foulands, don't you? And then Vishnu would nod and say, <clears throat> "Yes, I. I was um. <clears throat> I was born of the union between orc and man. I'm. I'm sure you're aware such union is hardly ever, well, kind. I." was stillborn. I awoke in a f I awoke in a plague pit as a <clears throat> and I wandered about on my own without even really much ability to take care of myself in any way and a man took me in. I know not his name. I hardly remember his face. But he taught me a bit about how to handle myself. And I don't remember when, or even how really, but... <clears throat> at some point... Well... At some point I awakened my power. And... The rest is a blur. I just know that, well, I had been alone ever since. Till I, well, till I found my band. My, <clears throat> my past is, well, it's a tale that can be written in a few short words on a single page. There isn't really anywhere back there for me. And Kavir's, Kavir's sort of just gonna um, just take another drink and just pull her sleeve back over her arm and just sort of stare at the sky. And you were free to say what you were going to say. Uh, I say to I say to Vesha, and I say, whether you're saying, I say, hmm, it's hard to tell whether you're saying that you feel that you don't deserve a place to go back to, or you, or a sense of belonging, a purpose, or are you saying that everyone else feels that you don't deserve it? Because in this world, well, in any world, uh, no matter what you do, you won't always reflect the type of type of perspective that is given to you uh, by the rest of the people around you. If you don't feel that you're deserving of a purpose, then set your sights on whatever will get you to feel worthy of it. Go out, travel, do good, form another band if that's what you feel is your purpose, or simply walk along and look up at the stars until you find something that works. But lamenting for not having a purpose is, is like saying you don't have a destination without even bothering to try and buy a map. It's pointless. All it leaves is just, uh, <clears throat> well, it, like I said, just pointless. I would 
want you to think about what you want to do from here. Don't think about what you think you deserve, or don't think about what other people, your past, your the perspectives of being who you are in this world, and the way that others were going to see you. Just go out and keep on living until you that whatever hole you feel in your heart is filled. I think that life is pretty much as simple as that. I think you speak from a place of ignorance. Life I... is not so simple. <clears throat> I, I lived lo I lived long for the sake of living. Life for the sake of life. I've done. I'd need my my own lifespan ten times over, to, to atone for my sins. For me to go on and live my life as I wish, that would be, well, it would be farce. I'm sure, I'm sure you don't understand, and quite frankly, I didn't until I came here, until I felt myself at the mercy of another, until I saw what it could be, what it's truly like for people to be fond of one another. I've, in the short time, in the short time I've been with you, I've experienced entire aspects of life I had never experienced before despite my living for the sake of living. Experienced love, I've experienced pain, unimaginable pain. What it's like to share a drink with friends on a cold evening. And, well, and she just sort of like looks up and you see like, for literally like the, the first time ever, you see uh, tears falling down her face and she just looks, and she goes, it's this exact experience that I have robbed of so many. Um. I've looked children in the eye as their parents wailed. As we, as we took from them that which was worth near nothing. And we cut them down without remorse time after time after time after time. I never asked their names, but had I, I'm sure I'd have forgotten. So, for me to live my life for any, well, for me to live my life at all is farce. Um, so, as she says that, I don't make eye contact with her. I'm still looking up. Uh, and I say, you may call me ignorant, but the reason that I say this to you is because the experience you've described is very much my life. Um, touch the necklace again, and I say, Calvira, did I ever tell you where this necklace came from? Cover with the tune should go. No. Um, I say this is a bond between myself and my partner. Uh, I treat it very closely, as even though I'm a world away, multiple worlds away, I know that she's still there. But that's not how I got this necklace. Originally, it was used to seal me, to keep me from killing the woman that is now the mother of my children. You see, I may not look it in this world and everything that's changed me, but some time ago, I was known as a fearsome creature. Slayed countless armies, battered villages, burned them all for the sake of my own need, my greed. For power because I thought that if I couldn't fit in with people then I just had to make sure if I couldn't fit in with people and monsters saw me as too weak then 
I just had to make sure that I was the most fearsome monster that there was. The moment you say that, Veshna just immediately just turns to you and just is just it just is just locking eyes with you as you continue. Um, same. It wasn't until that I had met uh, my partner that I slowly started to experience many of the things that you had just laid out. The feeling of closeness, camaraderie, not having to fear that your trust would be betrayed, getting to sit by a fire and laugh and eat and look up at the stars, looks much like we're doing now. I lived most, if not all, of my life driven by this want for something that I could never figure out. And it wasn't until I met her and I met my companions on the other side that I found that life isn't supposed to be driven by such things. The enjoyment that I felt just seeing her, the enjoyment that I felt sitting next to a friend and bickering and laughing certainly didn't make up for my misdoings. But along the way, I found that I could make up for those things while also learning to, ex to love the life that before then I had hated and only sought to take away from others. Said repentance, uh, a part of repentance is just as much changing your own experience in life as it is trying to change the experience of others. Said, so, well, you may think that's a tad ignorant or a tad naive. Uh, <laughs> I'm currently the proud parent of two children and I like to think that I've made my own world a bit of a better place. And while I can't make up for the lives that I've taken, I've, I think that I've saved just as many, if not more. And I know that if I die, I can, even if I don't go in the same place that I may hope, I am content with that. I think that's just the best you can hope for. And immediately, um, at, at hearing that, Veshna just sort of stares at, at her feet for a minute. And then she just takes the, the entire, like, glass that's in her hand. She just, like, chugs it all at once. like, <laughs> And then she, she just comes back, like, just sort of in, in a coughing fit. <clears throat> and then and then she, she just looks to you and she goes, Then, then you're, you're saying I, I could be redeemed if I, if I, well... If I save as many lives as I've taken? Um, I look I look at her and I say, if that's what you feel, then, then sure, go for it. What I'm trying to tell you is that redemption isn't some laid out rule. It isn't written in, the, in some book somewhere to tell you that that's how you solve things. The pain that you feel is uniquely yours. No matter how many people you've killed, someone's always killed the same amount, if not more. And the pain that you feel might be completely different than the pain that they felt. My experience is not the same as yours, even if we see a few parallels along the way. Do what you think, do what you feel is going to lead you towards a better life. That's the only advice I can really offer. Immediately, she just she just jumps to jumps to two feet, and she just starts looking at her hands, and you see her just sort of counting on her fingers, and then she's just like, like she's like a lot of what you just said seems to have went in one ear and out the other, and she's just like, <laughs> yeah. if I if I'm to redeem myself, I'm to save far more, and if I'm to save far more, then I'm to become stronger. And then she looks to you, and the the tears she shed earlier is sort of beginning to dry in her face in the in the chilled night. She looks at you and she goes, "Should you ever find yourself in need? Should you ever find yourself in need of a of an ally, of a companion, against any foe, no matter no matter how how strong, how formidable, 
No, you can count on me. I, um, I've, and she's gonna say, go I've saved your life twice now. That's to, that's going toward my count. And if I need to save it again, and again, and again, as many times as I need to, until, until I'm finally redeemed, until I finally atone for my sins, until I can have a night like this and enjoy it properly, until then, you can count on me. I, w I will add that when, when she says that I saved your life, I start to open my mouth and then immediately shut it. Uh, and then she finishes that, and uh, I stand up, and I put my arm out to do the, the warrior's handshake, and I say, well, <laughs> well, you didn't need to tell me that. Thank you. Hold out my hand. And she, she, she takes her hand, and she just like um, almost ecstatic, just takes it and just grips it ex extremely tightly, like to the point where like like you're like, a... <laughs> and then, and then she she lets go, and then she um. I'm back. Sorry, my, my mom was uh, my mom was FaceTiming my brother and his kid. But um, huh. but yeah uh, so yeah so so she um yeah so she she grips her hand like really tightly and then she she lets it go, and then um, she just immediately turns and just storms into the uh into the estate, mm. and then Calvira sort of just uh, she just chuckles and she goes, "My nice save." I don't think she quite got it, but. She's certainly better than she was before. I laugh and I, I sit back down and I said, well, it took me being it took me being pinned to a tree for hmm, 50 years or so and countless adventures after that before I finally got it. So I'm sure she'll figure out what she needs to in her own time. She just, um, she winces and she goes, you're that old. 150 to be exact. And then she just immediately she she just she just clears her throat and she goes, Oh my. Well then <clears throat> let's continue and um, I pray Soft Tail returns soon. And then she just um she just she, she, she just pours a little a little bit more of a little bit more wine in her glass again and she goes to she goes to top yours off and, and if you let her she will. Yeah. And then, you know, you guys continue waiting. Alright. All right. Can you guys Soft repeat tail. that uh, last sentence for me? I want to make sure I have this down correctly for my next best-selling New York Times book. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, the memoirs. Of <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, yeah. So, um, so Brutus and NG both went to the end, correct? Yep. Alright, Soft Tail is, uh, I don't know what you're doing, but... So, I'd have found know. a nice, quiet, um park bench and i'd just be sitting there right now i don't know where that park bench is would it uh, be in the upper district probably because uh, where you, you ran from the uh the church fucking uh i don't know if you want to i'll leave it up to you if you want to put me somewhere in the upper district or you want to put me somewhere even no. like even on the maybe they i'm on the route to uh to the end like maybe they can run into me okay all right yeah, up to sure. you i'll leave it up to you oh yeah yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. let's think <clears throat> yeah I, I like that so um so yeah um uh, in Inuyasha, um, yeah, NG and, uh, Brutus. Brutus, you still with me? Did you fall asleep, bud? I'm always there. Alright, excellent. <laughs> so, yeah, you, you, you guys are on your way back to the inn, and, um, and you see, uh, after some time, uh, you, you guys sort of, you guys head from the estate oh, down in the lower wow. district, past, straight past Eclipse, and you see, um, after, after a couple more blocks, you eventually, uh, comes to this, uh, uh, a lone bench, sort of, uh, by some shanty-looking houses. <clears throat> there, 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 literally be just like um a fucking dude, just like like probably like 40, 40, 50 feet away, just fucking like just just tweaking out, just leaning against the fucking uh against the house with his fucking with a dumb smile on his face. And then, <clears throat> uh, you'd see sitting upon 
It's an ordin ordinary looking bench, uh, your comrade. Seemingly, well, you, I'll allow him to describe what he looks in this situation. So, under, you've seen me uh, sitting and pondering hundreds of times at this point. I'm normally sitting in like legs crossed, like the whole like, uh, like my hands on my knees, uh, eyes closed. I'm, my normal demeanor, uh, essentially meditating, but that's, that's not at all what you see. You see, uh, you see me sitting there, uh, almost, almost, it looks, I'm not drunk, but it looks like I'm drunk where my legs are, I'm, I'm man spreading. My hands are just, <laughs> are just like at my side, like sit, like, like the, my arm, my, uh, my arms, are, forearms are just resting on the bench with my, my legs. I'm just like lean back. My head's like up in the sky and you can s still visibly see tears running down my eyes. I'm, I'm a fucking mess. Get yourself together. Yeah, <laughs> we're gonna walk up to him, I guess. Raph, right? Yeah. Get yourself together. I um, on upon seeing them uh, or hearing them call to me, uh, I immediately I can't even bear to like look them dead in the face, and I I put like my um my dragon uh helm or helmet whatever headpiece on, so I don't have to like they can't see my face. Totally embarrassed. Hmm. I'm. I look at them. I. I go. Uh, I'm like, what do you want? It's late. Come to the end with us. Um. I. I look at you. What is. What is there for me at the end? Get some sleep. I'm perfectly fine sleeping where I am right now. I just. I need I need to be l left alone for a bit with my thoughts. It wasn't your fault, man. I I I get up. I get up and I uh I go to I go to walk. I start heading towards the the estate. I head start heading towards the estate. And I'm like I'm like, but that's that's where you're wrong, NG. It was my fault. I was too weak, and I, uh, I start to walk away, and I, uh, and I, I look, I stop once again, and I, I kind of look back, and I'm like, uh, I, I guess I never said thanks for bringing me back, and I keep walking. They're waiting for you there, you might want to avoid it if you're trying to be alone. I, uh, I just keep walking. Alright, I'm going to the end. All right, so you guys, you guys walk in the inn, and uh, you know, usual suspects are there. Fucking Boris is still behind the um, he's still behind the counter. Um, and he's uh, and like, and I will note, like you guys do recall, like, he does, he he has that cobra tattoo still, and he's just uh, he's chilling there. And uh, and if you guys just retire to your rooms, then you can, then I can pass. Mm -hmm. All right, so you guys do that. Uh. I mean, hmm. he has a cover tattoo. Yeah. Um. Uh, who was in the group? Oh wait. Yeah. Um, it was oh, me yeah. and uh, it was me and Softail and investigated him. Yeah. 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 So. Um, so yeah. You do know that the bartender yeah. has a cover tattoo. He was like the first guy you saw with one. Huh. Mm -hmm. I just kind of, I just kind of like, as I'm walking past, I like look at it. I just kind of chuckle to myself and keep walking. Yeah. Brutus would have already seen that tattoo. Yeah. Too, because we hung out with Boris. <clears throat> All right. Cool. So. You guys, um, so you guys retire for the night. Uh, Softail, when you get back to the, um... I pull up to the estate roughly four in the morning. I don't know if they're still up, but that's when I... Okay, no, I, is... I was not leaving at, leaving from the outside. So if I'm asleep, I'm still asleep on the steps. Yeah, so, yeah, so, so the, um, what, what, you, what you'd come upon is it would just be, um... <clears throat> Inuyasha's just, like, passed out on the steps. Freaking, um, they're, they're, they're um, there are three... Three. Uh, there are two empty glasses of wine, just just sit or uh, just sitting uh just sitting on the step. Uh, and then Cal Calvira is sitting there with a with a um glass in her hand and the um the bottles sort of to uh, to her side. And then she just looks up and she goes, Ah, you've returned at last. Um, even though I still have my whole get up on, mm -hmm. you can like. 
uh, you can clearly tell I'm, I'm, I haven't gotten a wink of sleep. Just the way I'm moving, I'm exhausted. Uh, like, I've, I've been tear, tearing, not weeping, but you know, like just tearing, tears all mm -hmm. night. I'm a, I'm a mess, even though I'm trying to cover up as much as I can, but it's, it's too yeah. much to cover up. My fucking yeah. fur is a mess. There's still blood all over my fucking cloak. Kavira would look, would look at you, and she, she would raise her glass, and she would just say, "Care to see how your newly raised body can handle the best wine in the realm?" I, I look at, I look at the wine, and I go, uh, "I don't, I don't drink." Uh, <laughs> she, she giggles. She goes, "I did it, I, Roger." Yeah, but she, she giggles at that. She, she just goes, "Uh, yeah, neither did I." And then she looks up to you and she goes, it helps, you know. I don't need... I, I look at her and I go, uh... I, I look at her like, a day ago, I'd have told you I don't need help. Clearly, I'd just be telling a lie at this point. I, and then she, she she giggles again. She goes, huh, so you've discovered your humanity at last. I, I look at her, I'm like, let's go. Let's not get ahead of ourselves now. Let's... <laughs> fuck uh i need I, I look i look at both of them um i, I look at them i i i apologize i'm like i'm sorry i was i was too weak i was like i and at at and fucking like like literally like like as you're starting this speech like amy asha still just sort of passes out fucking um uh calvira looks over and she just fucking like like just kicks his fucking leg she goes hey your friend is back I think, I think... No, I would, I would literally, like, leave. before she kicks him, I would literally ask her, like, leave him asleep, please. Oh, okay. Fucking, uh... Oh, damn. So, yeah. I had a one-liner, but all right. <laughs> all right, so, yeah, so, um, so, yeah, she, uh, she respects that. Yeah, I was like, leave him asleep. I was like, I can't, I can't bear to talk to him. Uh, I go, I just, I just wanted to, I was like, I was like, I, thanks for bringing him back, but I'm sorry I was, I was too weak. And at, at weak, I almost, I kind of, like... I kind of break down, I kind of, I like, I'm like, <laughs> I kind of like fall to one knee and I just, I start like mumbling myself, I'm like, how, how long am I going to be too weak? Last, uh, yeah, I say that to myself, uh, not, I mean, she could hear me, I, I say it loud enough so she can hear me. Uh, she's, like on. And I'll go for it. Yeah, so, so she, she's, she's going to look at you and then she's going to, um, she's going to say, Oh jeez. And then she's gonna she's gonna fill her glass. And then she's gonna say, um Listen. Well, I suppose it define I suppose it's how you define weakness. You were certainly too weak to sustain attacks this is to sustain the attacks you were. Certainly. You perished after all. But <clears throat> Well, You've been, well, look at it this way. You've been given a gift. You've been given an opportunity to use your use your life going forward. And then she she takes a sip and she's like, <clears throat> I, I'd wager that takes a great deal more strength than enduring physical attacks from uh, some brute or mental ones from some now deceased cocksucker. I like uh, this Calvin. I like. I I I, I kind of laugh at that. I'm, I chuckle. I'm like, I'm like. <laughs> seems she she seems, literally like burps and like at, at saying that she just covers her mouth. She goes, "Pardon me." I go. I look at her. I go. Uh, I take. I take my. Uh, I I laugh. It it broke my uh, self-depriving mood, if that's the right word. I'm not sure if it is. And you're looking for deprecating. Deprecating. Uh, thank yeah. you. That's the word I was looking for. Uh, I take off my my mask and I'm like. I'm like, seems the time I've we've spent at Infragar has changed has has changed you. I guess changed us both in a, in a way. She she, she yeah. looks at you and she goes, "Let's not get ahead of ourselves." And she just freaking like <laughs> just she, like clearly indicates that that this is likely the wine talking and not necessarily <laughs> <laughs> some grand character development that she's had. But but yeah she's, uh, yeah she's she she laughs at that. I uh. And, go on. Uh. I I look at her. I look I I look at her and I go uh. Maybe they are like I get, they say they say uh, a true person's self comes out, 
when when they're drunk their defenses are down and they have nothing to hide if this this is the true you it's one you should try showing more often much better than that whiny that whiny other the other whiny one you like you show to more people <laughs> she goes she, she giggles at that and she goes oh a common fallacy the effects of alcohol don't bring out your true self. They bring out they bring out who you'd be had you no responsibilities. I uh And unfortunately, well, everyone has responsibilities. I lo I look at um uh, I keep saying I look at her. I'm just like uh I guess I guess I guess we all do. I'll uh um, what the hell do I want to say to this? Um, I, I tell her, uh, did I say thank you already to her? You did, yeah. I, alright, I say, I say, I guess, I guess, I guess you're right. Uh, let him, let him know I was here when he wakes up. Uh, um, let him know I was here when he wakes up. Ease his, put his mind at ease at, at least. The ambassador won't stop worrying about me, following me around like a like a lost puppy. <laughs> she's 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 gonna giggle and say, "Yes, he has a habit of that." Well, uh, you guys are lucky. I'm asleep. <laughs> <laughs> she's and then she, she's gonna say, "Perhaps I'll head into town in the morning and see if I can have a leash smith, have a collar <laughs> smith. Perhaps they'll make one large enough." Oh my god, that's can I make a can I make a perception check to wake up to all this fucking roasting that's going on? <laughs> Go ahead. D Yo. DC D DC twenty. <laughs> I mean hey. Perception you know that's a that that's hard. That's easy. That's yeah. easy, dude. I've that's not hard at all. I've made wilder, you know what I mean? What's your perception <laughs> bonus? Uh, 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 it's um, five, but uh, <laughs> so you know I I guess that, that wine hit me a little harder than I thought I did. I'm conked. <laughs> <laughs> I said, uh, I, I look at her, I say, uh, I walk past her, I say, let him know I've been here in the morning, and I, and just as I open the door and I say, uh, I'm like, we, I said, we'll make this mutual agreement, I don't get used to this, this self, side of yourself you're showing me, you don't get used to this side of myself I'm showing to you. <laughs> she's gonna, yeah, she, she, she nod. Yeah, I head back inside. Alright. And then, um, uh, once once she hears your footsteps sort of fade away, she'd um she would then just kick kick in the Asha awake, and go um, hey, your friends here. She kicks hey. me and I I bolt up for a second. I go, go away. Oh, uh. <laughs> 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 yeah, and 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 he and he's literally just like, um, uh, yeah, um, your friends here. Well. And he asked me not to wake you. He seems rather flustered. I suggest you go speak with him. But if he if he asks, you woke up on your own. And I nod. I say, right, right. And I put the glass. I I push the glass away from me, and I say, and this is why dogs don't drink. <laughs> and uh, I I get up. And I'd say, I'd say I, I'd wait a few minutes. I'd wait a few minutes, just sit there to sober myself up a little bit before I go inside, so it doesn't look like she just woke me up right after you walked in. Mm -hmm. uh, but then I would, I would walk in, um, into the estate, and, I mean, the soft will just find like a different, like a room, yeah. was going to. Probably find me one of my various spots. I have a few, you know. Of. All right. So yeah, we'll, we'll go with we'll around. go with the on top of the book cabinet. <laughs> I, I will right. note that uh, when you guys head in, you do hear like down the hall in that like large empty room, you do, you hear like like m extremely loud sounds of just like a uh, Veshna training. Nice. Nice. Okay. Uh, so yeah, I, I move around till I find Softail. Um, I look up at him and I say, "So the whole nine lives thing was true, huh?" Um, I have no. Since I wasn't raised by cat folk, I have no idea this legend. I'm like, I'm like, really? No one told me that. That's a thing. <laughs> I I laugh and I say, apparently you're here in the flesh and fur. I guess I guess I am. I, I, I say, 
I'm like, I'm like, uh, I think you're one of the only ones left in the loss I still have to say thanks to for bringing me back, even though I was too weak to be of any help in the fight. I say, uh, well, you don't really have much to thank, to thank me for, as NG so eloquently pointed out. I landed one wind scar and then got hit by one of his spells for the rest of the fight. Can't say I did much more than anyone else. Um, but you, and I, I, stop, I stop you there. I'm, I yeah. stop you there. I'm like you. You managed to land an attack. What did I do besides show up and get my and get my ass blown up and get my ass beat? Um, I mull it over for a second. I say, well, normally I could rely on your can-do attitude, but it seems that that has left you along with uh, one of your nine lives. Hmm. Um. I kind of uh, step back from the bookshelf, sort of motioning for him to hop down if he wanted to. I, uh, I'll, I sit up. Let's, let's say, I know I'll hop down. Fuck it. I hop hmm. down. I have my mask on. Uh, actually, uh, I, I take my mask off. I did have my mask on during that first, uh, uh, interaction. And as mm -hmm. I take my mask off, I'm, I'm bloodied. My fur's a mess. I'm like, my fangs are, some of my like cat fangs are like chipped. And you could clearly see the streams that were running down my face of tears all night. It leaves mm -hmm. like, almost like an indent in my face. Alright, so when I see that, uh, I would say the smirk that I had on my face definitely falters for a second. But then, uh, I would say before... When, that, when you jump down and you do that, um, I, I look at you and I, and I pretty much say... Uh, I'm gonna cut right to the chase. <laughs> While uh, we may not always describe each other as friends, uh, we've certainly been through enough together for me to get to know how you work. I can imagine that this is messing with you for more than just coming back to life. Uh, I look at you, I'm like. Can I be honest with you, Inyasha? I've been I'm honest. Not. I've been honest with you before in the past, but not, not. I've been honest with you before in the past, but but bluntly. I want to be honest with you, uh, on a different level for once. Okay. Uh, I I'm like, the way I view you all, for the most part, for the most part, on the surface level, I'm correct. That is like Haywood, the idiot. Uh. Brutus the Fool, uh, uh, NG, oh, I've, I've got to say, I don't, I don't have much of an opinion on NG, I haven't, me and him, I guess, haven't really talked enough, but, you, as always, the two, uh, the goody two-shoes, there's something behind each of those levels that I, that I've always, that I've come to, uh, realize about all of you, I've come to realize uh, Brutus is, respect his strength. I've come to uh, respect uh, Haywood's uh, uh, what the fuck? Uh, bravery. Some may call it foolishness, but it's just just a word, just another word for bravery in my book. Again, I've, I haven't interacted. Uh, I've I've always uh, I haven't interacted enough with NG to do to know too much. But the first word I that comes to mind is um, fuck. Uh, responsibility. Uh, mm. That's what. Yeah, responsibility for you. I've always respected. I've always respected you as a as a as a good person. As a, uh, fuck. Where was I going with this? Oh my god. Um, Did you lose your accent? You died. Nah, I'm just really tired. I'm not in the mood to do the accent tonight. Um. He's like. I don't get any compliments. I um, did. I said I respect your strength. <laughs> oh, you did? Oh, okay. Uh, well, uh, what else is would, uh, gone would, from, would, He's soft... gone from Haywood the Fool to Haywood the Brave. How nice would, is that? Uh, would Softail be, like, sort of faltering like this a little bit in speaking, like, in character? Uh, yeah, I would. It's, so un I it's say... un I, although I, w I would be saying it normally, but I'm just bad at improv. But yeah, I would be, like, faltering a bit. But, like, um, yeah. So I would, I would cut in as you keep saying these lines, and I was like, I would just say, I'd say, you know, you don't have to uh, explain all this to me. 
if you don't feel up to it. No, I, I, I tell him like, no, this is something I need to get off my chest for now. Something I don't want to hear brought up again any time in the future, but just something I feel I need to tell somebody or else I won't be able to get closure on this. I was like, I've been here once before in my life. By here, I mean the state I'm in now. I I told I told this to Eliana on a whim. In fact, it kind of I'm su surprised myself. I I said it. I don't think I really meant to say it, but I said what I said. I'll tell it to you. There aren't many things in this world I fear. One of my one fear one word I fear more than anything the word friend. I, there's a there's a reason for that. I'm not gonna tell you what it is, but just know there is. And like, and it's that reason that I ended up in this state, the state I am, the state you currently see me in right now. I promised myself all those years ago, I'd never find myself in this state again. Well, here I am. I've broken my self promise. And look at me, back from the dead and a fucking mess. Okay. Um. All right. So I, I nod. I mull that over for a second, and then uh, I'm, I'm looking down, mulling it over, and I look back at you, and I say, tell me, if, hmm, would you consider your stealthiness and your ability to climb, would you consider that part of your strength? Uh, in that, in the sense, uh, in that sense, yes. Not, not what I'd like to... Although, although we've, although it's come in handy these past few months, not what I'd like to uh, uh, promote myself at. That's not what I'd like to make my brand. But yes, I'd call it part of my strengths. I said, would you consider uh, a caster's intelligence and wisdom, because are those their strengths? Yes, that's what helps them be strong. I, I nod and I say, I say, so. As you've spoken to me bluntly before, I'll say bluntly to you. Yeah. You lost. I said, but... Your comrades, your... Hmm, using a word that you may be afraid of, your friends, are the ones that brought you back to life. You would only have... You only have us in this group because you've forged these relationships. Whether they be through circumstance or job opportunities or from the day I randomly fell right in the on the street right in front of you folks these things have connected us to the point and we fostered these uh, connections to the point where the second that you fell the first thing that came out of Engie and Brutus's mouths the second that we took their tosses life the first thing that came from them is we need to get him to the church. And not a single person in that room questioned it. I immediately turned to them and said, go, I'll handle things here. Calvira rushed off immediately, along with Veshna, to bring you back. To bring you back. So, while it may not be the strength of your sword swing or how effective a martial move might be, what you've built up to this point, exercising your strengths and other capacities, is what led for you to keep on living. I wouldn't consider you being brought back to life a failure. If you were a loner, someone who stood away from any form of connection and shoved everyone off and that came to bite you in the ass when you went to fight a big bad all on your own and there was no one to bring you back, then maybe you would see some faces in the afterlife that you couldn't say anything back to except that you were a loser. But here you are, standing in front of me, battered and bruised and ready to keep on fighting. <laughs> I'd say that's quite the sign of strength, whether you'd like it or not. Uh, I, s I look at him, I say, see any Asha? I, I see where you're coming from, but that's that's where you and me differ. My, that's where you and me differ. He's like, it's like where you see that as a sign of strength, 
see that as a sign of weakness. The, um, if I had been, if one of you were in the same situation with me, I couldn't say I'd do the same for you. There's a good chance I'd have left you there, your body, called you weak, and told you this is what you deserve. That, uh, uh, I go, I look at him, I go, I said, I said, you've given me the second chance. I won't waste it. I won't let you guys down again. I said, uh, and then I, I start, I begin to walk away and I put my, uh, my mask back on and I, or my headpiece, whatever. I tell him, I, I tell him, I'm like, I make this promise to you, the same promise I made to myself about 15 years ago. You've never see me in this state again. I said, uh, I looked at him like, this, that little chat you just gave me, I don't know if it had the effect you wanted me to, you wanted it to have on me. But I'll tell you one thing's for shit sure. I certainly feel a lot better. And I, I put on my mask, and I head to, uh, I head to Eliana's. Okay. Um, alright. So, I would just say, I would nod, and as you're walking out, um, I'd say, uh, I best hope by tomorrow... You're back to being the cunt I know and love. Uh, I as I was wa I he said as I was walking out of him I'd walk back in, and I I'd put on my normal I'd put like as I pop my head back in the room my normal I'd put try my best to put my normal demeanor back on like my straight face, and I and I mm -hmm. uh, uh clearly you could see I'm forcing it I'm still not backed up to 100 percent like mentally but yeah uh I I tell him I'm like. Like I said, I said I would never show you this side of my face again. This, shot, this side of me again. That's a promise. And I'd walk out. Okay. Nice. Alright. All right. And at that, I go to fucking bed. <laughs> Any officer just go grabs a room and goes to bed. Alright, so. The uh, the night passes. And is there, um... Is, is there anything you guys wanted to get done? Uh, yeah. Uh, well, first things first, I'm going to fucking take a bath fix myself up. All right, you can do that. Um, lads, lads at the inn, uh, Angie and Brutus, what are you guys doing? Uh, go back to the court to get the fucking loot. Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna, go, I'm gonna go to the church and get healed. Okay, you do that. I thought I already got healed by fucking this guy. He got hit a little bit. I mean, okay, you just no. go to you just go to sleep and you <laughs> you go to sleep and you'll be healed again. <laughs> Bro, okay. Maybe was at four HP. Why don't you get hit? I know, but I gave him like twenty. I gave him like twenty. Yeah, I gave you like twenty six health. Gave you like twenty six now, bro. It's like, it's like you see a football player get a concussion. Like, oh, just sleep it off, dude. Give him an ice pack. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm going to get healed. Do you want to get the loot? Or do you want to get the loot I don't now? Feel... I don't know. I mean, you can go grab the loot. Fine. Give go, the loot. Loot. go get the loot. I forgot what the fuck the loot was. Sure. Nah, it's all good. Fucking uh, that shit. You know, you guys do that. Fucking, and we'll. Uh, I don't know what coop had that y'all needed, but you know, yeah. you just you can just I mean, get it. Everything that we. Yeah, had he had all the loot from the fountain. He had anything we got. We will put it there. All right. Well, I, 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 that'd have been between y'all's inventories, correct? Uh, I don't know. Probably. Like, like anything I I told you guys, you got, you wrote down. He wrote. He had it. He, all. Okay. Oh, he actually had it written down, like Cooper yeah. did. Okay. All right. Then yeah. I then yeah. That's did. fine. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Then um. Yeah, that's cool. So then, yeah, um, you know, we'll get him in at some point, and you know. So the point is, though, you get it. Whatever it is that you need from him, you get it. How much do I have to pay to get you? Um, uh, I'd wager the price of the super. So um, uh, so you're paying to have someone use the spell. Uh, I think it'd be like. I'm gonna look at that and be healing next day without the pain. I would say, yeah. So it's a 15 charge. So it, it um how much health do you uh, do you need? Uh, I would have healed a long rest, right? Which would be yeah. Uh, your level plus your constitution mod. Okay, so that'd be eight. Um, so I'd be dead. Twenty-six. I need to heal twenty-four. Okay, then um that would be sixty gold. All right, bet. All right, cool. And get touched up. Three. You guys have your um, your loot and whatnot, and uh, <clears throat> uh, I don't know if you guys had anything you wanted to do, but you know, P 
keep yeah. more tired. And if you want, we can call it there. I just have something I want to do real quick, but then uh, that's oh, it for me. Yeah, go for it. Oh, yeah, and uh, and I'd, I'd, I'd imagine you, Yasha, would also want to fucking, like, you know, save, you know. <laughs> he left his fucking puppy with Eliana. Well, yeah, I would that. get my dog in the morning. I would go and pick him up in the morning, and then I would think the next events that I would be part of would be whatever goes on with the council. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yep. that okay. would be, yeah so, this is something I want to do, and then whatever happens with the yep, council. Yeah, and then right onto the main. Yeah, right yep, on, and then, right back and to the And then we call it there, and then we'll, uh, we'll conclude the... Uh, uh, quiver arc, and then we'll move back on to the main shit. So, um, nice. so yeah, um, uh, Khajiit, uh, what are you, Wait, what are you doing? I need to go scry Vernon. Ah. Oh, yeah. Are we going to, uh, are we planning dealing with the last couple bandits? Yeah. I mean, me and Caleb are gonna go, deal with one. me and Caleb are definitely gonna go fight, uh, the wolf dude in the south. Um, as for the fourth unmet bandit leader i mean at this point i don't know if there's really any point to go fight him other than just like unless unless he magically becomes an issue but i'm only me and caleb are only going after them because we have a personal vendetta against them Cal Cal calvira wasn't was implying that like once like you know that the main thing that was keeping the vote from happening was like the bandits so once the bandits are done you know and you know, and now that you guys pretty much now that you guys know that the Chancellor is the traitor, that um, you know, without letting him know that you know, you can freaking you know work around that. If you, I'll deal with the bandits. I mean, there's any ground to stand on unless he chooses to to do something rash. And at that point, you could deal with it. And she, and she's saying he's a politician, he's a patient guy. Fucking, oh, you know. so we probably yeah. would still have to find yeah. the last. Yeah, yeah. So 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 uh, she was heavily implying right. that you know deal with the last of the bandits, and maybe we can deal with this you know without. Without challenging the chance of doing one. Okay, so then I guess it would be a squad thing to go take on the wolf guy and then the last one. All right. Oh, I would hope so. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So um, all right. So you wanted to scry Liana or scry uh, Vernon? One moment. I'm gonna take a uh, piss real quick. Way up she rises, way up she rises, way up she rises, early in the morning. Put him in the cabin with the. What is that? Put him in the cabin with the, with the captain's daughter? Is that it? Yeah. Put him in the cabin with the captain. Put him in the bed with the captain's daughter. Yeah. <laughs> Suck him on my dick with the captain's daughter. <laughs> Sticking on my nuts with the captain's daughter. Sticking a finger in my butt with the captain's daughter. Early in the morning. Atta boy. Wait. Whoa, 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 that's a finger, whoa, <laughs> that's a finger. That's <laughs> okay. Alright, fucking, fucking, um, retards. So, um, what do you call Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, you had to, um, what, uh, would you, would, would, uh, I mean, if, if he's going to Eliana, would, would you just go with him, so, uh, Inyasha, or... Uh, I mean, not like it's it's like four o'clock in the morning. Not right now. No, 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 no. He's not going now. He's this. This is the morning. Like this is this is the next day. Oh. oh well, so I mean, yeah. it would probably be around six o'clock by now. Cause I, I got back at four, had that conversation. Let's say it takes twenty minutes. I go take a shower and a bath. That takes ten minutes. So I'd be there. Oh, okay. Yeah, All right, like, so, so you're going like okay. Yeah. yeah, I would go yeah, like yeah, later. Okay. Like, like in the. Okay, gotcha. Later. All right, so then you go alone then. Oh, and you um, yeah. <clears throat> and you get to um, you know, you get to eclipse. Around this time, the 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 fucking undead are shambling out of the place, mm -hmm. and um, and uh, see from behind the counter, he's sitting there. Is he sitting there? And he's like, "Yes, thank you, thank you, thank you for choosing Eclipse. Thank you for choosing Eclipse. Thank you for choosing Eclipse. Thank you very much." And he he's just, see you, you see, clearly see that he's saying these things as a formality. People don't even seem to be comprehending his existence, and uh, and uh, once you know, you walk in, and. He looks at you and, he, and he's just going, and he, he just sneers from behind his uh, his glasses, and he's just like, "Welcome to Eclipse. How may we help you?" She in there? Of course, she, of course, the lady's in. And then I don't say nothing. Just walk in or walk past him. Do remember to knock. I don't say anything. Keep going. <laughs> you, you just you just hear fucking just him just sort of grumbling to himself. So you go up to the door. Do you knock. Yep. You knock on the door, and you hear, you hear um, oh, just ju just a moment. And you and you and you, you you just hear her just just like fucking just cursing to herself, and you hear a bit of, you hear a bit of commotion, and then she um, she eventually she's just like, all right, come in. All right, I walk in. Uh, she say anything to me? 
Yeah, yeah. So, so, so you head up the stairs and, and you see that that she's like um, <clears throat> that she's that she's feeding scraps and uh and um, and uh and she's sitting there and she's like, damn, Mutt refuses to take his take his medicine. It's like he wants to die. <clears throat> and then she, and then and then she looks to you and she goes, yes. What is it? I see you're here in one piece. I uh I need to I need to describe that dude you described the other day for me or yesterday. Right. I <clears throat> I would ask how you're. Well, I'm in. No, I, I'm went, like I literally but, say okay, yeah, I, she, I'm in no she's, mood. <laughs> yeah, she's literally just gonna say um. <laughs> she's gonna say um. I you know you're in one piece, so I assume things went well. And then she's she's gonna go over. Oh shit. All right, one sec. One sec, one sec, one sec. No, just move on. One second. Is your brother's kid okay? No, no, no. <laughs> but yeah, um, so, so yeah, um. Wait, quick question. This last part, this is my yeah. part, right? Yeah, this is done. Yeah, yeah. But you can yeah, go. This time we're done. Yeah, so if you want to dip, you yeah. dip. We're gonna... Yeah, yeah, gonna... ciao. So then, freaking, um. So, uh, yeah. Um, yeah, so, you know, she's like, fine. That'll be, you know, that's fine. And then, um. <clears throat> And you see that, um, uh, so, you know, after some time, she, uh, she takes the time to scry. About, uh, I believe it's like, yeah, it takes an hour. And then, um, and then she, um, <clears throat> once again, you're scrying Vernon. You see that, um, he's, he's back in the, uh, in the, in the, um, the, uh, like a sort of, uh, temple looking place. Very, uh, dark and drab looking place. And he seems to be just sort of, sort of gearing down after a battle. <clears throat> And he, um, and, uh, what do you say to him? I say, I tell him, I'm like, oh, I, 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 t I tell him, I presume your mission went well, or I tell her <laughs> to tell him that. Yeah, so, so, El Eliana relays that message, and then he, he responds, he just responds, and he goes, is this going to be a common occurrence? Entering my thoughts, unwanted. And then fucking, um, Fucking Eliana's lady just like fuck you. He's doing you a favor. <laughs> or, or he's, he's like fuck you. He seems to care about you. Fucking and then, and then uh, he just fucking um. <clears throat> she, she just sort of clears her throat. She goes, <clears throat> I mean um, yes. Um, he says uh, and then she just relays that. Yeah. Um. I tell I tell him or I tell him. I tell him it's like, it's like listen. I I said uh, I said I I took what you what you said. You were right. What you said. Preparing to die. Uh, preparing, preparing to fail. Or what the hell did he tell me? Preparing what? What was he the said, sentence? He told you that um, he told you that that uh, that having a contingency was preparing to yeah. fail. He's like, I was like, you're right. I was like, I was like, you told me last night that. I told you I'd take it to heart. I said, and last, uh, I said, and you were proven right. Clearly, uh, I said, I said I last, I said yesterday I prove, prove, I proved myself too weak. I, I needed a. Uh, I'd wanna. I need to talk to you in person. You, can you meet? Can you meet back in Ashtera, the same place where you were given a second chance to give me a second chance? And then um, he's he's sitting there and and, and he's just like um, <clears throat> um, he, he he looks at some of his men. And he's just like sort of a uh, un, unfastening like 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 part of part of his robe and uh and just taking these like these bangles off of his arm off of his uh his, his arms. Uh, <laughs> no, no, his, his arm. His fucking like his his fucking like. Like, How is he arms. doing this? <laughs> no, fucking um. <laughs> oh no, no. Like I mean, like he has he has people doing it for him. Mm, like, mm, like he's, he's he's giving people orders. Fucking um. And uh and like there are clearly a bunch of things just just meant to keep his arm in place so it's not flinging around during during battle. Mm -hmm. And then um. <clears throat> and and he would have told you that the uh that, that the battle with the Invidiac went as he as as he expected it to. And then he um. What you call it? and and at your request he would go. Um. <clears throat> He would go, um, you spared me once. I am quite some time from Ashtera, but my current quarry is dead. In a month's time, to this day, I should be able to meet you there. I, s I tell him, I tell him, I say, if it's too out of the way, I'll, d I'll do you one better. I'm like... I said, I know, I said, I don't even have to ask the question. I know you're a busy man. Is there a place I can meet you that's closer to your next quarry that you think you'll be having? <clears throat> He's going to say, um, <clears throat> what's it called? He's going to say, um, 
I have things to attend to here, and actually, Ashtera is the closest common location that we have between us. So meeting there will suffice. All right. I said, As I said, I am no mercenary. And <clears throat> you mentioned that you'd you want a second chance. What what power do I have to bestow that upon you? Um I tell I tell them like I prefer uh, considering we're using we have a medium contact in between us, there are certain things I'd rather her not know. Eliana rolls her eyes. <clears throat> And then um and then she 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 rolls her eyes and then she just she doesn't even directly translate it. She goes, he'd rather not have a third party. And, uh, and then and then he uh go on. Uh, just uh if you don't um unless you absolutely need an answer now, I'd prefer to ask you in per I'd prefer to ask you in person. And then he's gonna um he's gonna he's gonna say no, that is fine. I have been living on borrowed time. I will be there. All right, I tell I tell him uh, one last message to say. All right, meet there a day a month from today. If anything changes, I, I said we should have everything wrapped up. Then by what I what I have going on here by then, I'll be back in Ashtar within the month. If anything changes, um, I'll let you know. But I'll try. I'm doing. I'll do everything in my power to make sure that that doesn't happen. That nothing changes. Good. Do keep keep the time. Well, is that a good enough? Is that a good enough amount of time, Jamel? <clears throat> yeah. And if it ends, and if for whatever, yeah, you know, yeah, yeah, should be. All right. You think I should do a month <laughs> and, and a it, half? Uh, I mean, if it, up to you, dude. I mean, all I know is if, uh, you know, if 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 whatever the time ends up being ends up going like significantly over, which I doubt it would, but if it does, then you know, you'd be yeah, faced with the decision. You'd, you'd be faced with the decision of contacting him again and you know, putting putting the date back, or you know leaving whatever you're doing here to go have a meeting. Uh, I'll tell, uh, all right, can we just change all the one month to month and a half? Just wait, how long? It was a week's yeah. travel between here and Ashtera? Between there and Ash, between where you are right now that was like and Ash. Two yeah, it was, Oh, uh, it's two weeks. Oh, then fuck that. Give me two months. <laughs> I, yeah. I assume we'll have everything wrapped up within the month and I want to have enough time to travel back. Because even the Southern Bandit place is still like two days. Actually, no, yeah, no, so again, b between, um, yeah, between, uh, at, between, uh, Talmaraz and Ifringar by road, like, on a carriage, is, like, is, 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 is like, um, like, two weeks. Okay. If you were to travel, like, by foot, which you wouldn't, but if you were, then it would be, it would be, like, a month. Uh, so. so, then, so give me two months, then. I need, I need enough time where I know everything we'll have here will be wrapped right. up and done, and, uh, and, yeah, I have enough time to get back. I forgot about the travel time. To to yeah, and and, and and he and he'll say um he'll say uh what you call it that he um you know uh he'll 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 keep that date. All right, cool. All right, hand it on to the three hundred gold. Uh, and I'm off. All right. All right. Go. All right. Good sesh. We'll call it there. Nice, Mike. I have an idea for a meme for this session. Oh, do you? You know the scene at the end of Goodwill Hunting where it's like it's oh like my god I've literally like never I've never seen Goodwill Hunting. Well, have you ever so. seen the 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 meme or like the gif uh, where it's Robin Williams holding Matt Damon and he goes it's not your fault it's not your fault it's not your fault and he just starts crying. I could definitely see you you being Matt Damon and you can literally put me Calvira NG anybody's <laughs> face there and it would work. I've never <laughs> seen this before. Like, it's, Oh, I mean, Goodwill Hunting is a phenomenal it's movie. Phenomenal, movie. phenomenal, dude. Robin Williams. It's my favorite. It's my favorite film. Matt Damon, Brian Affleck, Ben, ben Affleck, Brian, Brian Affleck, Brian Affleck. Affleck. Brian Affleck. <laughs> Everybody's favorite Affleck, Brian. <laughs> He's the fucking uh, the Affleck guy, the, the goose. <laughs> <laughs> He's the goose. <laughs> uh, all right. Oh okay, yeah, that was nice. That was nice. <laughs> Brian Affleck. I'm gonna make this session's meme fucking Batman v Superman went instead of Superman being like Martha it'd be like Brian Affleck is like why did you say that name <laughs> <laughs> oh my god alright call it there